Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm going to start building the ship. And I've decided to do it here because there's a big anchor here and I think I could uh, fit it in to make it look a bit more cool. I finished the boat and loaded up all the uh, stuff I needed. It's got meat, sticks, shelving, all that sort of stuff. This is probably the best layout I think you could do. It works really well. I had an issue with my game where I had collision issues. They weren't working, so I had to build them again. And it turned out I had a bug <laughs> I had to fix with invisible on when I was stuffing around in the last live stream. But yeah, it's all filled up. It's ready to go. This won't last very long. This thing is going to be expensive. Now, it's getting dark already, which isn't good. But yeah, I'll make do. Okay, so first, I'm going to measure it out. Okay, so I'm going three wide, and I'll show you why. I don't know how long I'm going to go. I can't go too long, because so that's getting very expensive. Oh, that'll do. Now, this is a bit, it's a bit tricky. Okay, I'm going to go exactly one pillar. Like that. Bring it back. I'm making like a U shape. I have to hurry up because it's getting dark and I want to finish this before the sun goes down. I don't think the shark comes out this way. He's just out there a little bit further. Well, I don't want to find out the hard way, do I? Here we go. Okay, it hasn't matched up evenly, but that's okay. What matters is that the planks are the exact same, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a bit off on that side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's too dark to continue on. As long as he's at the shore. I'm going to go sleep and then start working on it in the morning. Okay, it's morning. I'm going to get back to it. Okay, I just realized that it is different. It is a different shape. That's skinnier than that side, so I'm going to have to cancel it. Start again. It's no drama though. Okay, this is working out better. I think the issue last time was I was in a rush, so... Make sure you take your time with this. Measure twice, cut once. I don't have to state this, but <laughs> I should. You can't move the boat once you build it because it's literally a structure. It's not a ship. There we go. That's a lot better now. So many oysters here. <laughs> Make use of them. It's heaps. Good for keeping the hunger up, but no good for calories, eh? I eat them all straight away because they just go off so quick. Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm working out the height I'll need to make this. Now that little platform I'm building, it'll keep it level on both sides. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, it's right underneath me. Hopefully I can reach it. Okay, there it is. That's really hard to find. Uh... There we go. So that's done. It's right in the middle. The next part is to start placing rock pillars over the corners. Okay, those two ends are done and that's level. Got some more rocks and the locals are showing up. I should mention that this is probably the hardest design I've ever shown. It's quite complex. Okay, all the pillars are done. They're at the same height as that small platform I built. Well, I think they're at the same height. I'm going to save beforehand in case I make any mistakes. Next, we get the custom roof out. I'm going to start it from right on the corner here. And I run all the way down, or swim all the way down. Whatever tickles your fancy. Touch that. Touch that. We run all the way down again. 
attach it to the oh, bloody drown. <laughs> Gotta attach it to the end here. Okay, let's see how that went. Go over look side on and see if it's perfectly rectangle. Yeah, it looks fairly good. Might be a bit higher at the front, but we work with it. Another way to check is if it all converts to two logs at the same time. Okay, it's not quite perfect, but it's probably about less than half a foot off on the other side. Okay, so how many logs is that? 90. And we have to do the other side. And hopefully it works out to be the exact same amount of logs. That's what we're hoping for. And then run it down again. Lots of coral here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And then connect it up. Make sure you finish on the platform because this is the only part of it we're keeping. Okay, it's not wanting to connect up for some reason. Okay, there we go. Hopefully there's no off cuts where the roof decides to have a little piece on the end. Okay, looks pretty good. I think this might be more straighter than the other one. 99 logs. Oh no, <laughs> that's not more straighter. <laughs> Oh, I should have looked at it before I did that. I had to restart it again and it worked, so it's all good. I can just do it again. It's getting very dark though. Come on, Varkin. Get your act together. Okay, I've got to go quick. My only light source is this bloody blueprint. Okay, looks like I've got it again. Yeah, it looks like I've got it the exact same as the other side, which is what I want. 90. Ah, uh, perfect. That's what I want. I can start building these. It's going to take a while. I know it looks kind of funny, but trust me, you got to trim off the side of it so it's going to look like a proper boat. This would be much easier to do if you could make roofs go downwards rather than just upwards if you get what I mean. I requested to have the mod made for it. It shouldn't be too hard for the modders to do. Hopefully they can do it. If they're able to do it, I will do a video on how to make it that way. What I might do is cancel this blueprint down here because blocking my view and stuff. And I don't want to accidentally place logs on it. I think I'd be right, but I'd rather be sure. Got to move the boat away. Don't want it to collide. See it flying. Oh god, finally got it. Oh, that was a little bit too hard. <laughs> Could have been easier for me. Okay, so, got to finish the other side now. I don't think I'll have enough logs to do this one, but uh, let's see. Hopefully we do. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, there's a couple more there. Two there. Uh, okay, so I need 12 more logs, which is exactly one cart. Alrighty. What I'm going to do, I'll make a log cart. Oh no, my thing's not working. <laughs> one hit. He had a tennis racket too. Shame I've already got one. Could save it, actually. That might be a good idea. Yes, I'm one-shotting enemies at the stage because I need to put difficulty scaling on. Play upgrade points needs to work with something else. You can't just have it. Even more enemies, I'm just bending them over and get <laughs> triple dildoing them. There we go. I should have got the machete while I was down there last. That would have been a good idea. Oh, gee, throw away my bloody tennis racket. That was mine. You bastard. Okay, so I've got the logs. Let's see if I have as much trouble as last time completing this thing. Hopefully not. I'm not kidding. This is taking forever. You drowned or got experience. That's funny. Oh, jeez. I'm so close. I've got to use this roof. It just keeps bouncing off. 
Stop. <laughs> uh, you wonder why I laugh at myself so much, because if I did it, I'd go insane. I'd just have a mental breakdown. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, uh, just come on. Ah, uh, have I got it? Come on. Oh, you bastard. I can see it when I haven't got the log, but when I've got... Oh, finally. Finally. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That's... Okay, so just an overview. This is probably a little too deep. I shouldn't have gone so deep here. Oh, it's just... Uh, it still works. It's fine. But yeah, I can take out these rock pillars now. This is what's holding them up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to protect this. I might place some like water collectors around it, and that way they can't get to it. The old fuck method doesn't work anymore. Make sure you save regularly, and maybe use multiple saves because it's very easy to stuff this up. Though I have done this so many times because it's very tedious. If I do stuff it up, I will show you how to fix it. And most of the fixes can come from uh, the ultimate cheat menu. Now, you've only got 20 cuts. So remember that. You don't want to run out. Otherwise, you have to do reset holes. There we go. Got rid of that one. The seagull on it. There's birds in this game. There might be issues that I've built it too close. Because... They're going to be able to reach this part if they can go under the water. What I was planning on building it was going to be deeper, but I uh, didn't really plan for this, so hopefully I can just get away with the way it is. Don't have to put any sort of protections in place, which is just water collectors. And because it's so shallow too with this, and these are all steeper than I planned, but this is the thing. You're never going to get this exactly how you want it because it is such a custom design. So as you've seen, we've taken out all the rock pillars on the other side, there's just one left on this one that's still standing. This is very steep. Just experiment. Do this in creative mode, figure it. You might find a better way of doing it than me. I've got to keep checking if the shark can come by. So what I'm going to do is actually live on oysters because they've got barely any calories and I'll keep my hunger up. There's so many here. It's like 50 or something. I hope they respawn. Yeah, the deeper you make it, the better because you don't really want to lose your ship to cannibals or mutants glitching into the water and taking it out. I'll just leave the rest. It's giving me good energy. The next part is up to you how you do it. See, like, this is quite low. If I made a floor here, it's kind of no point. But it will probably look more realistic. What I could do is just build a little bit higher. So like that. I'll see what... Because you want to have as many levels as you can as well. This is rather skinny. I should have made it wider. You're never going to get this right. Trust me. Don't get too wrapped up in it. Okay, so like that. Oh, that's really high up. No, I don't want that. I was hoping to have two floors. How do I stuff this up? Oh, no. I know what I've done. That's all good. So that's just a little too high. We should I just add the small wall to this game? I really do. Why not? Just do it. Nike. I did not get paid for endorsing that product. Um, so this is going to be good. Might just build the ends. By the way, this, this is hard, but it's not impossible. The more you do it, and the more you pay attention to my instructions, the better time you're going to have doing it. Though, it is frustrating. I've built this about... 15 times all up different designs uh, I might show a trick uh, uh, the trick is either do it in mod, mod API with the ultimate cheat menu so you can just make it a lot easier on yourself or if you're not don't have flying what you do is go to the fertile lands because big flat area and you build a custom platform custom foundation a big one and just build it off that and pretend that's what you're building it off because you're above land it's much easier to see blah 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 I'm rambling now yeah, another issue you might have is this. It's collision. But this seems to be working okay. I don't need any of this crap, so I'm just cancel it. Shut up. Ah, uh, that's good, because if I turn high ocean quality on, the waves will come up through the floor. And I don't want that. 
So I'm keeping this end. So you don't have to be very accurate with your placement over here. If you really wanted to get it inside the platform, like inwards, in more, which isn't actually a bad idea. What you could do is use a custom foundation and place it inside. Like it was about here, wasn't it? You do it like this, but what I should have done is not like that, but rather bring it out just a smidgen. I don't know what a smidgen is, so don't ask. So like that, so that's 13 logs. And the idea is hopefully those rock pillars should be able to connect to that. And then I can just demolish that. That's the plan. At the end of my last live stream, I was building on it and I used a single roof and I was placing basic walls. You can do it that way, but it runs into an issue. And this is the thing, like I should have been recording myself doing those bloody builds, but they just took so long. It would have been so much editing. Anyway, that's enough for one episode. In the next one, I'm going to continue on building this boat. I'm going to run it like a tutorial, so stay focused and not get sidetracked by enemies. Anyway, if you like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.